Okay, so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use this in a video. I'm just memorializing this for myself. This is one of the greatest moments of my entire life, just a little while ago. This is unbelievable what happened. So the Lord God showed me. I was looking at my the, the video that I had put up for everybody on the invasion, and I saw this. I saw Adidas Original. So this is called Adidas Original, and there's five. One, two, three, four, five. And they have their arms in an X over, and this guy in the middle is half white, half black, and they're all upside down, Adidas original. And I've told everybody, this is the original race from Genesis 1, that which Elohim made. Let us create, let us make man in our image. Vain show, illusion, representative figure, especially an idol. So it's the upside down race. Then the next man that's made is in Genesis 2, when the Lord God forms Adam, and it says, and it says right here, and the Lord God formed man right there. So the Lord God formed man right here. And in Genesis 1, it's, and it, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't already have this up, but I'm going to show you the difference real quick. In Genesis 1, watch this, guys. In Genesis 1, it says, and Elohim, God said, let us make man in our image. Okay, now let's do this very quickly. Y'all are going to freak out. Okay, here we go. Here's the sword. Ready? This is unbelievable. So let's go to this first scriptures. Let's see. So Isaiah 29 says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So, <clears throat> whenever you turn things upside down, like, you know, the, sheep, the altar of the sheep or the virgin, you turn the virgin upside down, it's a dead sheep. So, there you go. You take, you take the image of the virgin right here. All I have to do is turn it upside down, and the virgin becomes a dead sheep. See, there's the dead sheep right there. Okay. I can take a, a pyramid in Guatemala right here, this pyramid right here. This image right here on the bottom level of the pyramid, that image right there, that image is, is right here. There it is. It's a king. There's the king's face, and he's got this headdress on that's absolutely ridiculous, and you turn it upside down, and it's a dead sheep. There's the eye of the sheep. There's the eye of the sheep. So here's an eye. Here's an eye. Nostril, nostril, line in the mouth, and there the ears are going out. There's the wool. So if, if I simply... Take the king from the pyramid and turn it upside down. It's a dead sheep. And then it's got the devil right here. Here's the devil. There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the nose. There's the mouth. There's a little curly Q horns like an owl. And I can take this and put it right there on, right there on the face of the sheep. So it's the devil superimposed over the sheep. It's also the female reproductive system. Now, why am I showing you something that I've shown you so many times? Because I didn't completely understand what the Lord was showing me. Freak out. Y'all ready to freak out? I'm going to freak y'all out. Here we go. You ready? So let's go to first. Let's go to first Corinthians. <clears throat> so. When it's talking about the flesh and, and different types of flesh, and it says, so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. So the resurrection of the dead, first of all, it is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in a natural body. Okay, think of Genesis 1 when they, Elohim said, let us create man in our vain show. And then it says, and it is raised in a spiritual body. Now think of Genesis 2 where the Lord God put Adam in the garden as his representative. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. So listen, the natural body was in Genesis 1 when the natural body was formed by Elohim. And then in Genesis 2, when the Lord God forms Adam, listen very closely, he forms Adam as a potter from the clay. The word is dust. 
it says dust, but the word is actually clay. Now watch. Y'all are going to freak out. Watch this. Y'all are not going to believe this. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's go to Esau. Okay, here we go. Ready? Genesis 1. All the way down here. And Elohim, that's Satan and the fallen angels. That's Satan and his crew. Elohim said, let us create man. Let us make, right here, let us make man. Hebrew word 120 in our image. The word for God right here, Hebrew word 430 is Elohim. It means gods. It means of the supreme God, of the supreme God, of the supreme God, angels and judges. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Let us make man in our phantom, figuratively an illusion. So man is a phantom. Man is an illusion. Man is a resemblance, hence a representative figure, especially an idol, an image, and a vain show. That's what man is. It says it right there. So Elohim created the first man and said, then let us create them, male and female, created he him, uh, created he them. Created he him, in the image of Elohim, created he him, male and female, created he them. So Elohim, God's angels, magistrates, cumulative sum, many in one, create a host body, the natural body. Is, is first, comes first, the natural. Then what comes next is the spiritual. Then the Lord God forms Adam from the dust. Now watch, I'm going to prove it. Everything I say, I'm going to prove. The Lord just gave it to me tonight. I'm freaking out. Look at this. So watch this. Here it goes. So Genesis 2. And the Lord, the self-existent, eternal Jehovah God, Formed, right there, formed. The word is yatzar, and it means through the idea of squeezing into shape, as especially, especially as a potter. See it? Formed. It says, especially as a potter, man, Hebrew word 120, from the dust, but the word is clay. The word dust as powdered or gray, hence clay, mud, earth, but it says clay. Now, pay attention. So, we know that I've shown you the Adidas commercial. It says the original is never finished and they're all hanging upside down because that's the natural body, the first thing. And then in Genesis 2, the Lord God forms man, forms as a potter from the clay. And then what does he do? Watch this. He breathes into his nostrils. Here it is. And uh, okay, here it is. He forms man and the Lord God formed as a potter, man, Adam, from the clay potter's clay so and the lord god formed man so this is the potter's clay right here formed as a potter see right there as a potter from the clay so there's this is the potter's clay the lord god formed man the potter's clay and man became and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul so this is where man becomes a living soul right here Okay, now watch. And then he puts him in Eden. And he goes and he puts him into Eden. Now watch. And then it says, and he brought them to Adam. So now this, the one the Lord God forms, and he puts in the garden, he calls his name Adam. Hebrew word 121. He's got a living soul now. He's not the one from Genesis 1. So that's life. So life breathes with death which is the original from Genesis 1, the original, like Adidas original, the upside down race, breathes with the right side up race, which is Christ. Christ is up, devil is down. So they breathe together and that forms a host body system that's right side upside down in one, in one body. That's why your eyes are not single. Now watch, get ready folks. Y'all are gonna freak out, ready? Isaiah 29. <clears throat> This is what the Lord God used the night I got saved. Remember, he told me, Jonathan, read the tags in the closure. And I'm like, that's some weird. Some source is communicating with me, telling me to read the tags in the clothes I'm carrying. I'm like, what the heck? That's so crazy. And so I throw down the tag. It says 100% nylon, which doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, 100% nylon? 
and then I hear it turn, and then I, I, I I'm looking at it, I read, I'm like 100%, and I hear it turn it upside down. So I turn it upside down, and it's, and I'm like, and I sound it out. I'm like, no lion, and my whole body just goes. <laughs> I mean, this blanket of energy is like all over me, and I'm like, oh my god, what is this? It's like a scene from Star Trek. I'm like, <laughs> like what is going on? Whoa! And then I'm like, oh. 100% no lying. Well, isn't Jesus the truth, the life, and the way? Isn't that who he is? Okay, well, so Jesus is the truth, right? So 100% no lying is the truth. Now watch. So check this out. So surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Well, who's the potter's clay? Adam is the potter's clay. The one that the Lord God formed is the potter's clay. It says it right here. It says, and the Lord God formed as a potter man from the clay. Well, wh who is this man? Well, he names him Adam, and he puts him in the garden. So he forms Adam as a potter. So Adam is the potter's clay. And I've said this many times in other videos, but I didn't, I haven't taken a hold of it now because I got an extra scripture for you. <laughs> so check this out. I'm like, wait a minute. That means the two bred together. So yeah, he, so he, he puts Adam in a deep sleep, you know, rise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead because I was awakened from the dead the night I got saved. We all are. And so check it out. Arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead. And so the night I got saved, I was, I, I rose from the dead because I was with, I was with the dead. And then I got converted. And so he told me, you know, turn it upside down. You'll see the truth. And so, so check this out. So now watch this. Watch this. Who is the first? Here we go. I got to go to 1 Corinthians. Ready? For y'all to totally grasp this. Ready? 1 Corinthians. So it says, in the resurrection of the dead, uh, let's see. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. Think of, think of the Garden of Eden. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in a, a natural body. It is raised in a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. See, Adam was the spiritual body. The one, the potter's clay was the spiritual body, Adam, Hebrew word 121, that's the spiritual body that was uh, formed in Genesis 2. That's why in Isaiah it says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, Adam. So when you turn things upside down, you're a child of Adam. And who is Adam? The first Adam is the representative of Christ. He's Christ's representative in the system. So you're a child of Adam. We're children of Adam. Who's Adam? Christ. <laughs> Check it out. I'll prove it. Ready to freak out? Freak out. Here we go. So the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. See, he's got a name. His first name, Adam. And now watch. We'll go there. So here it is. Right here, Genesis 2, the first man, Adam, and the Lord God formed as a potter man from the clay and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became, look, a living soul. Right here. So this whole thing, Genesis 2, 7, is where the potter's clay, Adam, was formed. Adam, the potter's clay, is a living soul. Is a living soul. So surely you're turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as Adam, the potter's clay. <laughs> so watch, dude. This is going to freak y'all out. I was like, oh my God, I get it. So here we go. Ready? Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Let's go check all this out now real quick in the Bible. Watch. And then I'm going to give you a scripture that's going to blow your mind. Another one. Ready? Okay, so I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm freaking out. Isaiah 29, we're the sons of Adam, guys. And that, where that means we're the sons of Christ. Okay, woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. 
and their works are in the darkness. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? So you're in the system that's total darkness and they think they got you. Surely you're turning of things upside down. It says upside down right here. Surely you're turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. See, look, Yadzar, especially as a potter. So when you turn everything upside down, who is the potter's clay? Who is the potter's clay? Adam. Who is the potter's clay? Adam. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as Adam, the spiritual. You've been converted to the spiritual being now because Adam was the spiritual being. Now watch this. Get ready to freak. It's like, oh my God. He's revealed more of the scriptures. Okay, get ready to freak out, everybody. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Here, here we go. Now, ready? John 10. Okay, so here we go. John 10. Okay. So I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and I am known of mine. Okay, we're going to go here and we're going to break this down. Ready? So watch this. It's going to blow your mind. So you know what? Before we go there, I'm going to do Isaiah 43 before I go to John 10. I'm just so excited. I can't, I can't contain it. Isaiah 43. Watch this. Ready? Okay, now. While that's going to Isaiah 43, I'm going to go to a giant altar right here that everybody knows is a bunch of is a bunch of angels turning into semen, being birthed into the host body system. Hey, on one sec. Okay, so you ready? So here it is. Look, I'm going to enlarge this altar right here. This is this is the altar in the Vatican, the big dead sheep. See all the angels. See all these angels right here that are going into the system, into the male and female reproductive system. See, I colored them all blue, different parts, right? Okay, here we go. So there they all are going in, and the largest altar in the world is a dead sheep and a bunch of angels, and a bunch of angels being birthed into the system, but there is, see the big dead sheep, male and female reproductive system. Okay, you ready? Freak out. Here we go. Isaiah 43, hang on, let me go open these doors. I'm sorry, I have a little problem seeing here. Okay, Isaiah 43. It says, but now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob. Jacob means supplanter. That means you take over a system. When you, when you take over a system, you, when you supplant something, you come in and you take over. That's what a supplanter is. Well, it also calls him heel catcher, like twins. You know, you're grabbing the heel of your twin. So you're supplanting the twin system. Watch. So thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob. Look, it means supplanter, heel catcher. And that formed thee, O Yisrael. Yisrael means, Yisra means he will rule as, see, Yisra, that means he will rule as, and then God is El, the Almighty God. Watch, Hebrew word 410. See, 410, the Almighty God, the Almighty El. See right there, E-L. So, fear not, I have created thee, O Jacob, supplanter, and that formed thee, O Yisrael, he will rule as El. Fear not, I have redeemed thee to redeem uh, according to Oriental law of kinship, that is to be the next of kin. So he's our kinsman redeemer. So I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Look, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Look, when thou passest through, look what it means. Look at the word, abar. When thou passest through, look at the number, 5674. It means to cross over. And it means specifically to cover in copulation. That's uh, sperm and egg coming together, guys, to alienate. So when you cross over specifically in co copulation and they're alienated through the semen, the waters, I will be with thee. So he's telling you, hey, look, don't worry. When you go into the system... You're a, you're a supplanter, so you're going to go into the system, 
and you're going to rule as Yisrael because Jacob became Israel. So you will rule as the Almighty God. So we come into the system as Jacob because we're all Jacob, and then we get redeemed and we become Yisrael. He will rule as El, the Almighty God. Now watch, watch this. Get ready. When thou passest through the waters, okay, again, one more time, to cross over in copulation or and are alienated through the semen, I will be with thee. Okay, now watch. John 10. Here, okay, here it is. Hang on one sec. Okay, y'all ready? Check it out. Okay. So here, to him, okay, listen, but he that entereth by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and look at the word openeth. It means to open up, and it's from the root word up, properly up. To him the porter openeth, okay, it means the word up. And the sheep hear his voice. Look at the word here. It means to hear, and it means to understand, and look at this, his voice. It means through the idea of disclosure, and the root of the word right here, get ready, is to lying, to shine forth, to show, to be seen. Oh, you mean just like Jonathan Clegg showing you the Vatican's a big snake wearing a crown, largest altar in the world's a dead sheep. I can take a... Uh, Pyramid from Guatemala, turn it upside down, the kings of dead sheep. I can show you thousands upon thousands upon thousands of images that are something other than they seem to be, but all I have to do is turn them upside down because I'm a child of Adam. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as Adam, that which the Lord God created. So we're children of Adam in their system. Now watch. Watch this. And, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and he leadeth them out. Okay, he leadeth them out to lead for to bring out. But look, and when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. Ready? Expand your mind. When he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. Well, who's he? He's El, the Almighty God. Uh, he's a ram. He's a sheep. Watch this, when he putteth forth his own sheep. Ready? It means to eject, literally or figuratively, to cast forth and cast out, and to drive out, expel, leave. Okay, so what's he doing? He's putting his own sheep out. Of where? The door of heaven. Into where? The earth. What do you think Adam is? Oh, Adam was uh, the first man as Christ's representative. Oh, oh, wait a minute. First, okay, so what? So he put it forth, he ejects, he expels, he sends out, he casts out, casts out, he puts out, puts forth, he sends away, he sends out his own sheep, but he goeth before them. And he goeth before them, in front of, in place of, bit before, in the presence, in the sight of, before them. And look, and they, and the sheep follow him, for they know, look at this, they know his voice. Look at this, his voice, through the idea of disclosure. And to lighten and to be seen. Okay, ready? What do you think everything I'm showing you is? I'm disclosing. I'm making it visible. I'm showing you. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as Adam. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as Adam. The Spiritual man, yeah, so the first uh, the first man in Genesis 1 is death. And then Adam in Genesis 2 and Eve, they the two there breed with the two from Genesis 1, and you have life and death in the same system. And so 
we hear his voice because we belong to him. And so when he discloses that the Vatican's a big snake or the largest altar in the world's a dead sheep and all these other things that he's allowing me to show you because I turned everything upside down, which is really turning it right side up. That proves I'm a son of Adam. I'm a child of Adam. Who's Adam? Oh, Adam is Christ. The first Adam is Christ. Who do you think it is? <laughs> Check it out. I'll prove it. John 10. Okay, uh, here we go. No, I'm sorry. First Corinthians. Sorry, First Corinthians 15. Here you go. Who is the first Adam? And here you go. 1545. And so it is written, the first man. Look at the word man. It means man face. That is a human being, certain man. Adam. See right there, Adam. Hebrew word 121, Adam. I'm going to highlight that. A very unique color green. Ready? Okay, so Hebrew word 121, Adam. The first man, typically of Jesus, man as his representative, Adam, the potter's clay. <laughs> Surely you're turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as Christ. Because Adam, who do you think he is? He's Christ's representative who went before all of us. And we follow him. <laughs> and so we come into the system and then we're redeemed. Oh, Ali Ali income free, you know, like hide and seek. Ali Ali income free. What do you think Jesus said on the cross? Ali Ali Lama Sabakthani. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? That's why there's a game called hide and seek. Ali Ali income free. That means you can come in free without a penalty. For having gone out, they go out and they come in. It's perfect. <laughs> the Bible is completely resolved. Do you understand? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be regarded as Adam, Christ. Adam is Christ's representative. Adam is the first Christ. He's the first, and then Jesus is the first and the last, Adam and Christ. One's a life-giving soul, which is the beginning, and one's a quickening spirit, because you come into the system, and you have your soul, but then you get quickened, and you, you get your soul back, Ali Ali income free. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, the first man, typically of Jesus, man as his representative, Christ's representative. Okay, but now, now we'll go right here. Genesis 2. Genesis 2. And the Lord God formed as a potter, man, Hebrew word 120, from the clay. So that's the potter's clay. And then he puts him in Eden. And he called, Lord caused a deep sleep to fall over Adam. Hebrew 121, a deep sleep. Arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead. See, it's Hebrew word 121. It's different. Adam, as Christ's representative, because he's got a living soul. And man became a living soul. So the potter's clay is the one that's got a living soul. So when you turn everything upside down, you're one in Christ. Because the quickening spirit has bought you back. <laughs> and he leadeth his own sheep out. He putteth his own sheep out. He puts them out, but he goes before them. <laughs> so he goes before them to get them back. <laughs> so check it out. Ready? There you go. So, uh John 10, John 10, let's see. Uh let's see. Oh, here by the way, 
Here's where Jesus throws it in their face. And the Jews took up stones to stone him. And Jesus says, many good works have I shown you from my father. Which of those works do you stone me? And the Jews say, we stone thee not for good works, but for blasphemy, because thou being a man, makest thyself God. He was God that made himself a man, everybody. Jesus said, is it not written in your law? I said, you are gods. <laughs> We're all gods, and we get trapped in those bodies. And then he buys back those that were predestined. He puts them out. He puts them out, and his own sheep, and he goes before them. But he goeth before them. That's what it means. Watch. I'll prove it. I'll prove it all day long now. No one can stop this. No one can stop this. No one can stop this. <laughs> no one can stop it. First Corinthians. No, you know what? We're going to do John. John 10. Ready? John 10. Here it goes again. Here it is. He put it forth his own sheep. See it right there? He put it forth to eject, to cast forth, cast out, drive out, expel, leave, pluck. He casts out his own sheep. Get out. But he goeth before them. His own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. To know, to be aware of his voice. Look at this. Through the idea of disclosure, noise, sound of voice, look. To lighten, to shine, to show, to appear, to be seen. What do you then Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as, regarded as, Adam, as Christ's representative. <laughs> Everybody out. I'll go with you. Don't worry, I'll come get you, Ali, Ali, and come free. So why do you think he said that on the cross, guys? Everything's perfect. This is perfection. You're looking at perfection. Okay, so... When he is, so here it is. So think about Jesus in the flesh. Okay, so what's the number for flesh? Six. Six, six, six. Carbon atoms, six, uh, six electrons, six neutrons, six protons. That's a carbon. That's the carbon. Carbon on the periodic table of elements. We're carbon-based life form. So six, six, six. That's, that's the human host body. Six, six, six. Carbon. Okay, what's the number nine stand for in the Bible? Judgment. So what happened... When Jesus died on the cross, well, our judgment, if we accept Christ as our, as our Savior, our judgment is wiped clean. The chalkboard's erased, and you get to go home free without penalty. What? You know hide and seek? Hide and seek is Ali Ali income free. Watch. So here it is. The death of Jesus. You're now from the sixth hour, which is the flesh, the sixth there was darkness over all the land because in the flesh you're in total darkness. There was darkness over all the land until the ninth. What's a six when you turn it upside down? It's a nine. <laughs> and it was about the ninth hour. Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli. See, look, L, look, look at this, Eli. It's pronounced Ali, Ali. See, look, but it's L. See, Hebrew word, look. E-L-I, but it's pronounced Ali. See, it's Hebrew word for 10, Ali. Ali, Ali, Lama Sabachthani, why hast thou forsaken me? And he said it twice, look. Ali, L, it's L, the Almighty God, right here. L, the Almighty God. See, L, the Almighty God. Ali, Ali, from the sixth hour to the ninth hour, Ali, Ali, in come free. Ali, Ali, oxen free, because an ox makes a, like a yoke makes a W. So you get set free of your, you know, your yoke, your, your yoke to your own evil doppelganger. So when you get set free you get that yoke off you and you become one in christ <laughs> oh, i told you i told you
The greatest gift ever, guys, and I get to give it to you. It's right the way to give it to you. The truth. The truth. The, the whole truth. The truth. Do you understand? We're children of Adam. We're children of Christ. We are Christ's children in the system. <laughs> he put it his own sheep forth, his sheep forth. He puts them forth, but he goes before them so he can bring them back from the sixth hour to the ninth hour. Ali Ali income free. <laughs> Victory! Victory in Christ Jesus! Yes! <laughs> yes, it's all true. The whole Bible is perfect. It's perfection. We just, yeah, he taught me. The, the Bible says, You need not that anyone teach you what is true, for the Spirit himself will teach you all things. His teaching is true and contains no lie. <laughs> It is Shema, o Israel, for the Lord your God is one. <laughs> That's it. That's the Bible lesson for today. There's so much more now. There's so much more. That's it, though. That's why that large altar is one big sheep made up of a bunch of little angels being pulled in. Because he, he went before us. It's our nature to give life to others. But we come into their system and we take a harvest out as well. I know everyone's like, oh, I got all these questions. I know you do. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. But it's perfection. Yeah. This happens in worlds without end. There are worlds without end. It never ends. And so now, watch. And if the sun sets you free, you're free indeed. Watch this. Okay, here we go. Let me show you this one. So, ready? Because, you know, I, I better just <laughs> I'll leave everybody all freaking out. Everyone's going to be like, what? Oh, my God. There it is, guys. <laughs> there it is. The greatest gift ever. Okay, so. If the sun sets you free, there you go. If the sun sets you free, you're free indeed. John 8, 36. So here we go. John, John 8, 36. From the sixth hour to the ninth hour. Ali, Ali. There you go. Okay, here you go. When you have lifted up the Son of Man, you shall know, look at this, to know absolutely that I am, I am, I exist. See, when you've lifted up the Son of Man, you'll know that I exist. <laughs> so we literally prove he exists in this system. We are the proof of the existence of the Lord God in this system by being turned up. All of us, we all get turned up. <laughs> That's the joke. It's like, dude, you got to be kidding. <laughs> no. So watch this, right? Now watch. And you shall know, look, to know absolutely because the truth is not relative. It's upside down or it's right side up. <laughs> and you shall know the truth. Look, look at the word truth. Alathea. And watch, but this is so important. It means as not concealing. True is not concealing because the truth is, is concealed upside down right in front of you. So the truth is concealed right in front of you upside down. Now watch this. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Okay, look at the word free, eleuthero. It means to liberate, to exempt from moral, ceremonial, or mortal liability. So you're set free from mortal liability. You're liberated from mortal liability and from moral li liability. You're set free. Now watch this, guys. And if the sun there shall make you free, I'm going to change the color of this. If the sun shall make you free, look. It's Eleuthero. If the sun shall make you free, then you shall be free indeed. It's a different word right here. I'm going to change the color of it. Look at this word. It's not the same word. This is 1659. This is 1658. So if the sun shall make you Eleuthero, free of mortal liability, then you shall be free indeed. Eleutheros. It means unrestrained, 
to go at pleasure. That is a citizen, is not a slave. A citizen of where? Heaven. <laughs> We're citizens of heaven. <laughs> the two became one in their system. Their job is to take the one and create two. His job is to take two and create one. Go back the other way. <laughs> Just go over those scriptures, man. There they are. The Lord gave it to me tonight. I've been freaking out. Just, ah, uh, I love you guys. Y'all are my joy. You are my joy to get to give this to you. It is my joy to get to share this with you. And the building out there is a perfect representation of the system. And he showed it to me and I understand it. And the way he's got it set up with the little eternal flame at the very top and the whole thing. And I haven't shown it all to you yet. You're going to freak out. And it's so cool. Anyway, I love you. Here, let me now let me close in saying this. Don't worry about family members. Don't worry about moms, dads, brothers, sisters, children. Don't worry about them. The Lord's God's got everything. You can't see past his skin, but he can. He sees the thoughts of an, and intentions of every human heart. He knows everything. He wrote every word. He is the word. And he is the book of life. We are the word. We are, we are Christ. We are all little microcosms of Christ, one big whole. We are the children of Adam. Adam is Christ's representative in the system. We're the children of Adam, Christ's representative in their system. Therefore, they hate us. <laughs> oh, yes. All glory to God. Okay, are you guys pumped up? <laughs> so awesome. Anyway, all right, guys. God bless you. There you go. I'll just leave you with that, man. I'll be back. I've got more. <laughs> There's more.